go quietly amid the SCA members. And remember what joy there is in keeping your head upon your shoulders. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons, for you may someday need crash space. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and the ignorant, unless, of course, they want to tell you about their D&D characters, deep underlying meanings in Doctor Who, or the endings of movies you haven't seen yet. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. In short, stay out of the filk suite. If you compare yourself to others, you may become vain or bitter. In your case, probably bitter. Keep interested in your own career, for no one else is. Exercise caution in the dealer's room, for you may find it cheaper on someone else's table, but probably not. And let this not keep you from forking over the cash, for you know you're going to buy the damn thing in the end. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Rabbit fur, barbarian costumes, and spandex come first to mind. Nurture your credit cards to shield you in times of sudden bankruptcy, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. It's probably just something you drank, for many cons are born of fatigue and light beer. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself unless you can find someone else to do it for you. You are an attendee of the convention. You paid your 15 bucks and have the right to be here. And whether or not it looks like it, the convention is unfolding as well as can be expected. Therefore, be at peace with God and hope that the tele-evangelists aren't right or we're all in deep doo-doo. And whatever your labors and aspirations and the noisy confusion of the consuite, keep your hands to yourself. With all its lack of ice, screwed up film schedules, and broken elevators, it's still the only game in town. Live long and prosper. Open the bay doors. Use the force. And don't 